waiting for them to get set up here, but I just want to quickly say, and I wish I could say it forever, you guys did an amazing job. I know you kids at the school, for the last two weeks, voting on every single possible device that we have in here. I don't know how much you learned this week, but I think you learned that the hitmen are awesome for doing this. I also want to thank your parents and every single person. I think we have family that lives everywhere around the world, and that's where a lot of our votes came in. Everybody shared this. This was the talk of the town for the last two weeks, and it's uh, pretty amazing to be part of this great community. And so you guys should also be very proud. There's a lot of effort that goes into everything we do, and I appreciate everything that you guys have done for the last two weeks and beyond that. So we have a big project coming up to get this rink up to speed and get us ready for the next hockey season. You guys excited about that? Yeah! I'm just going to hand this over to the Hitman organization. Hi guys, just uh, a really, uh, on behalf of the Calgary Hitman and our foundation, a big congratulations to you and your community. Uh, obviously, you guys did an outstanding job in your submission and your video, uh, and to get that many people to get out and vote on a really regular basis is uh, a real big accomplishment, so you guys definitely deserve uh, this $50,000. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, just officially present you this nice novelty set here. So, what are we going to do with this 50 grand? Well, I, uh, I asked the kids this a few weeks ago when we did that video, and uh, a Jumbotron seemed to be the number one ask, but I can tell you right now that's not going to happen. The amazing thing about hockey in this community is the tradition that we've kept on for 90 years. And I think you guys all saw that video, but it has been that long. And we don't want to change that. The fact that we can play outdoor hockey in the wintertime, doesn't matter how cold it is, and you guys all come out to play, is pretty amazing. We don't want to change that. So we want to put in a cement foundation so that our hockey season will last a little bit longer, as well as allow you guys at the school to play on that foundation during the off season. And work on your hockey game with your roller skates or roller blades and your sticks or tennis but we like hockey better <laughs> okay so we have a lot of work to do over the next over this summer so we're pretty excited about that i'm sure i'll see a lot of you come down here and help out um so again thank you to everybody in this community it's amazing an amazing place to live and be a part of uh, I, i'm sure you're all proud to live here but I've been here for four years and I just can't believe that I actually live here. It's amazing. Um, thank you. So, the best part now is we all get to eat. So there's food, there's food from the tailgate truck. We also have some Spalumbo sausage. I want to thank Spalumbo's and the Italian bakery. They donated us the food, as well as Coop's Auto for donating the barbecue. We also have the hockey net set up, so I want you guys to get out the game together. Once you get a hot dog in you and uh, play hockey. Thanks, everyone. Somebody way more important than me was to talk. I just want to help organize everybody, but I'll say congratulations again to MSA from Foothill School Division. Uh, this is amazing, not just for them, but for our, everybody in our school. So.